Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Clover Mini Iron. Before we get started, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more information on tools, sewing and projects. Be sure to share this with your sewing friends. Liking this video really helps my videos come up in more searches and, and to more people who might be interested in sewing just like you. Thank you. So today I'm going to be talking to you about the Clover Mini Iron. There's a Mini Iron 1 and Mini Iron 2. They're very much the same, very similar. I think one might be slightly smaller than the other one. But in general they are very much the same. So the weight of this iron is 365 grams on its own. It does come with a base. As you can see this is the little stand. And you can just simply rest your iron on there while it's on so you don't have to swap it, turn it on and off. And then at least that's where it's safe, it's not burning anything and it's ready to use. The size of the iron itself is 23 centimetres long and roughly 6 centimetres across. It's really easy, it's like a curling iron, it's, you can hold it in your hand just quite steady and easily. And obviously because it's small, it's very agile and easy to use. So on this particular model, there's just two heat settings. You've got high on this side and low here. And then at the very end, you've got off. So depending on your fabric, um, if you want to wear on the side of caution, I would go low. If you know you're working with something quite stable and strong that won't burn or... Um, you know crinkle easily you want to go with the high so when I purchased this one it came in a package came like this so the iron was there the stand here and then it comes with a screwdriver the screwdriver is to if you can see this bolt here it's like a little bolt and you twist that and turn it and the head here comes out that means you can change the head to different ones. I'll include an image so you can see which other set head you can get for this iron. So as you can see it's a 12.5 to 25 watt iron and on the back you can see some instructions about how to change the head itself. As you can tell this iron comes with no steam settings, it is literally just a dry use iron. Along with the useful settings of the different temperatures it's obviously got this plastic coating which is really handy because that helps you stop from grabbing this part of the iron which is very hot. The metal here is obviously the part that conducts the heat to the, the tip and it gets very very hot. Another thing to note is with this iron you get probably about a metre long cord which is perfect for any sewing room. You, make sure, you want to make sure you've got enough to work with and enough to give while you're working. As you can see, I've used, because this is cotton, I've used it on the highest setting and it's pressed that, that fold really well. It glides across the fabric really well. You just want to make sure that you keep this side clean at all times. If you get anything like stabiliser or fusible web on it, just let it um, cool to go to the lower setting, wipe it as best as you can and then let it Something I really like about this iron is the lightweight easy to hold frame it's really easy to keep hold of you don't feel like you're going to slip the plastic covering is perfect if you you know you're a bit clumsy like i am and you end up often burning yourself um, and i really love the easy to use little stand folds away if you know if you don't want to use it anymore or if you need to put it away for good you know if you've got children around but otherwise it is really easy to use, really usable. Though the downside to this is that it is so small. It's a very small space to work with. So it do, wouldn't be useful for large projects such as clothing seams, quilting and patchwork. After testing out this iron on a few different projects, I found that it worked perfect for a plique. Just because the corners are often quite small, the projects themselves are quite intricate, the small narrow space of the iron head is perfect for things like that. I also did a bit more research, it's not something I particularly do, but fabric flower making is very popular and this iron is perfect for that. 
not just using the flat head itself but there's a ball pot a ball head um kind of head and another type of head that's a little bit more um intricate um and they fit onto this you can get a specialized clover ones and it is perfect they create great results and perfect flowers overall i'd give this iron a good five out of ten though it depends on what you're using the iron for. If, if you're using this iron for projects such as clothing or patchwork, then I'd give it a 5 out of 10. If you're using it for making flowers or applique, then it's definitely a good 9 out of 10. I hope you've enjoyed this review and found out all the useful information you need to know about getting yourself a mini iron. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!